Hello fellow mayors, welcome back to the City of Avalon on the Cape Apple map from Plazas and Promenades DLC. In the last episode, we took an in-depth look at Area 7 during the daylight hours. In this episode, I want to spend about 10 minutes showing off some epic night displays. Our first stop is the great detailed area around these residential buildings. Left is nice and bright while right in the center is dimmer, illustrating different light fixture luminosities. The Heart of Korea High Density 2x2 Level 1 Commercial throws off this great pink light that bounces off these beautiful unique buildings. At this apartment complex, lighting was placed amongst the colored trees to brighten them up at night. Kind of like a spotlight. The brick walking path has extra lights to make it safer. Behind the hospital, the tiles glow as the light bounces off. A great eating and socializing space. Additional lights and pink trees around the PMP Plaza makes this area really shine. This metro station looks awesome as well as safe. Even things as simple as walkways behind buildings looks awesome with tiling and light. Here I create a line of trees and lights against the parking lots. Here I just added lights around the building to make it stand out a little bit more. The lighting just makes it look more lively and habitable. A really nice walking path behind the houses. Lights on the colored tiles with trees make it glow real nice. Now what can I say, I just love playing with lighting. You can even add lights to zoned areas right on the edge where they meet to make it safer in the back of the buildings. Sometimes I just like the simplicity of some lights, trees, and colorful tile. It can really make a spot pop at night. I added extra lighting on the zoo path in this park to make it stand out just a bit more. I also add lights on the back of the key to brighten that up a little bit. Some really nice lit spots on this Asian themed island.
And now my crowning achievement, a glowing fairy waterway. I added a ton of lights and tiling under the water, and I'm just in love with how the light bounces around in the water and illuminates the fairy halls. The play of light is just stunning. That paired with extra lighting on the key just makes this area magical. I just want to take a second path just to soak it in. I also added lights around the bottom of the ferry pier to give it some underwater lighting. In this area, I doubled up the bike path lighting to once again make it stand out and increase safety. It really makes riders feel comfortable taking this path at night. Let's check out a few spots in this part of town. Here we have a cool old walkway behind the heart of Rio Zoning. Here is an example of placing the lights on a zone building on the left side and none on the right. Here's a few spots in this office area. I really love doing work behind high density European buildings. This one has lighting placed on the edges of the zone buildings. This one has a nice blue path with very low intensity lighting. And this one has brighter lights placed on some nice orange tiles. A few spots over here show some nice paths with lighting between the buildings. I want to take a minute to show the transforming effect of placing lights on zone buildings using this high density residential next to the metro. You just need to be careful and patient to find that magic spot right on the edge of the zone building. And you can really notice the difference. It looks great. Well, that's Area 7 at night. I hope you enjoyed this evening trip with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy building.